Hello and welcome back to my first review in a while. So I finally got my hands on something new. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Prowler Xenomorph. For those not familiar, the source material is Aliens Fire Team Elite, which was a game released on August 24, 2021. Basically the idea of what this game is, it's a shooter game where you take control of a group of Quail Marines, similar to the Left 4 Dead series. With that said, let's get into a review of the actual figure. Alright, this has been one I've been waiting to get into for a while. We have the Prowler Alien from Aliens Fire Team Elite. Uh, this figure right here, I got it from Rogue Toys. I want to give them a quick shout out. They got this to me really fast. Um, I'm trying not to use Big Bad Toy Store too much, and I'm trying to really just clamp down and find uh, stores that can send these guys out pretty fast. And I'm satisfied with what I got. Uh, this figure um, is, is is currently making its way out to some stores. Some stores do have it. Um, I haven't checked out like your Targets or anything like that, or Walmarts. Uh, Walmarts, I've not seen that. In fact, I would not count on Walmart if you're a... Uh, a collector of NECA figures. I mean, their their collection of what they get is kind of hit and miss at certain points. There have been times where they've gotten things really early. Other times, it's been a wait. Some Walmarts, you might not get anything. This, though, I have not heard of or seen it pop up in any Walmarts. Uh, do let me know if you have seen it, though. But uh, right now, we have him in his box right now. Now, I want to go ahead and say something about the box. I gotta say, I'm not too big on this box that they got it in right here. If you've ever watched any of my reviews, you know that I'm not a big fan of uh, this this box right here. In fact, I'm just a bigger fan of, say, the what they're doing with the Ultimates, you know, where you have uh, the window packaging that just opens on up with the, with the Velcro. This looks a lot better. It's a shame that we couldn't get this for the Fire Team Elite. But for what it is, though, hey, this is better than what NECA was doing 10 years ago. So I'll take it for what it is. So let's kind of flip it around and get a look right here. We have the... Uh, Aliens Fire Team Elite art right here. It does look pretty snazzy. This is going to be worth keeping. Uh, make sure to let you know that the video game is available now. And then for that on the side, we have um, just more of it right there. Uh, this is pretty well just the kind of stuff that you would expect right there. I love that right there. That is amazing right there. Um, and the game, if you guys are curious about it, I have played it a little bit. I haven't I haven't beat it or anything like that. It, it's one of those games that is kind of an impulse uh, play for me. It's not one of those games I can sit down and just invest hours and hours and hours into now uh, we have the uh, the barcode so if you need that go ahead and use that and our little read up so you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to do that and of course it has a picture of the prowler alien and also available i cannot wait until the burster and the spitter alien come out they are the main events if you are curious i have ordered the runner alien in one of my previous videos i said i was not going to get him but i've decided hey i'm going to do it. i'm going to drop a review for you guys uh, that'll be in probably maybe about uh, a week, possibly. Hopefully this figure uh, gets to my door faster than what this did. This came fast. The only issue I had was it was on UPS's end. Uh, there was a little error along the way, and it got uh, it, it didn't show up on a Friday. And, of course, they had to wait Saturday and Sunday, and it showed up on a Monday. Um, but it's here, and let's get it out of the box. So measuring this figure all the way from the very end of the snout all the way to the tip of the tail... We are just a little bit over 13 inches, so pretty good length for this guy. I've got him standing up on his feet in the best position that I can, as long as I can. Uh, let's see how tall we exactly can get this figure uh, to go. So he is about a little over, I'd say, seven and a half inches exactly. You might be able to stretch him up a little bit close to eight inches. I could not get him to go any further. I sure, I'm sure you could go ahead and work things out a little bit more with the legs. Uh, things do get a little weird with uh, the bottom of him, but it appears to about uh, 7.5 or 8 inches exactly around that range. Here we are getting him the 360 spin, and I gotta say, this guy is much smaller than I anticipated. I mean, he's not even uh, on the size scale with the uh, the runner alien, which I'm gonna pull that out in a moment. Uh, the runner alien I'm referring to is the one from Alien uh, 3, the actual movie. It just, I can tell already by looking at this guy, much smaller not a lot to him exactly, but he is a unique little fella for what it's worth. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to talk about in this guy is going to be the actual detail and the sculpting on it. Uh, this figure, it feels very much at home with something that could have been seen in Alien 3. In fact, just looking at that skeleton body, uh, it does... I don't think it's the exact same as the, the one from uh, Alien 3, the, the runner. We'll take a look at that in a moment, as I said. But overall, though, I'm absolutely just digging this... This blend right here of the, uh, uh, the, the way the color is, is used definitely on, on this sculpt. I mean, definitely uh, seeing it just kind of, you know, uh, the actual bones go from red and then interior to black. Like, I don't know, this is just very unique, like every which way you look at it. 
and then for that at the very top right there i just i just love the fades that it has uh throughout the the, the paint job on NECA has done a great job when it comes to uh paint paint apps in recent years uh this is actually one of them that i don't really see any really spotty uh paint apps i mean i suppose that I could get in there and get a better look this is just my first impression uh looking at this figure but it seems flawless for the most part so uh, I'm, I'm satisfied in that department um can't say enough positives about that right there close-up look at the face right there that is menacing that's menacing and in the, in the front i don't know what this makes anybody think of but for me it makes me think of kind of like a, a smaller uh version of the alien queen and some of it kind of reminds me of the uh the aliens uh, the harvesters on uh, independence day just uh, it kind of makes me think of that. Not quite as wide exactly, but that's just kind of where my mind goes a little bit uh, when I see this. But um, definitely this is a highlight uh, Xenomorph figure in this line right here. In fact, for Series 1, it is the highlight. Uh, I spoke about in one of my other videos, I didn't get the runner at first because of the fact it feels like everything I purchased. This is different and fresh though. So it's definitely something that I had to wrap my hands around and just own for myself. In the articulation department right here, we've got a uh, bit smooth articulation. Now, one thing I absolutely love about this right here is you get some good range on the actual head right here. Uh, one of the issues that NECA had commonly way back in the beginning was, I remember the runner alien was just kind of stuck in this, this weird pose right here, so you could not quite do a whole lot about it. They've gotten this so much better right there, and I'm happy that I could throw that head back right there and not having to worry about it break. I have not tried this mouth right here. Um, there's our range when it comes to the mouth, and this is going to be a tricky one, get, getting the inner tongue out right there, which doesn't appear to have a lot of paint on it. But, um, I will say, though, this is as far as it comes out right here. Um, some of you guys might need tweezers to get that out, because that feels like something that could get stuck in there. I'm just glad that it's not all gummed up from the paint apps. Uh, that's happened with various different alien figures I've gotten in the past, where it's all gunked up, and you, you kind of got to move it around and wiggle it to go ahead and break some of the uh, the paint off. That's not the case here, fortunately. The arms right here. And then for that, it appears to be one actual joint. Be mindful of this. This is thin right here. This is something I could see someone being careless trying to force it too much. And then for that, we have the actual hand, which uh, no finger articulation that, that has whatsoever. Of course, that would be the same on the, the other side. We have our ab crunch right here, which... Does get some pretty good range. It's a little bit hindered. Not bad, though. And then we have this leg articulation. I mean, look at this. Just swings all the way around. That's some pretty good range right here. That's one good thing about this guy right here. It is much more free than, say, any of the warrior aliens we got out there. It is double-jointed at the actual knee this part of it. And then for that, as we move down, we do have some extra articulation right here. I'm not too big myself at articulating it around this point, especially around the ankle, just because I feel like on figures like this, it gets so fragile, and I don't feel like testing in my luck. Also, I have not done the hot water trick or done anything like that on this, this figure. Now, let's check out this tail right here, because this tail has been in the same position since I got it out of the packaging. Good old bendy wire. That's one thing NECA has uh, mastered throughout the years. So, it is. let's see how far. It seems to be, I think it ends right here. There's definitely, not, obviously, never anything in here. When it comes to the NECA Xenomorph figures, but um, I, I feel it kind of go a little limp right here. But from here, it's it's definitely pretty apparent. There is one downfall, though, I will speak on, though, uh, as I go on this review. But first, let's go ahead and crack out the runner alien and get him compared to this. We can get the size comparison. Here we go. And as you can tell, there is quite the difference on these figures. I mean, uh, look at these legs right here. This is very much different. A lot bulkier, a bit more meatier. And this guy is just small, and I'm sure if I went ahead and just stretched him out, um, you'd, we'd be able to tell the difference um, standing him up on their actual feet. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to uh, do that. Right here I have the Alien 3 Ultimate, and then we have our Prowler kind of stretched out side by side. Uh, as long as I can get them, but you can go ahead and tell the difference that, yeah, there is a lot more length in the Ultimate Alien 3. So, I can't wait. I'm, I will do a comparison. Uh, we will see the difference between... The one from Alien 3 and Fireteam Elite when it comes to the runner. Um, I think my investment is going to be well worth it, to be honest. Though we have to go ahead and talk about some of the negatives with this figure. Now, while this is a nice looking figure and it is done well when it comes to the paint apps and the actual articulation and the actual sculpt, 
The biggest issue I have with this figure is this is all that's in the packaging. You do not get no egg, no face hugger, nothing. That's it. Um, that is a, a downfall due to the fact that when you kind of look at NECA's figures nowadays, uh, their figures are now running for about $35 to $39, depending on where you get them from. So now NECA is depending off the, the actual figure. This is what they got to sell us on if we're going to buy it. Some people probably won't see a big draw on this probably because of the fact that they probably have some of these Xenomorphs. For me though, I'm a big collector and I want to bring reviews, so I had to have it. I do think this is one of the more unique uh, aliens from uh, the Fireteam Elite line. In fact, we're going to see more unique aliens once we get to the next two. Um, I just love different things on this. I mean, you know, uh, the different horns that we have on this actual figure. And of course, right here, uh, it's a key spot. I mean, there's just a, a lot to look at and, and, and take in. And I, I want NECA to do as many as they can of these unique-looking aliens. I still call for uh, Alien vs. Predator Extinction. There's a lot of material there that they got to get into someday. Uh, there is one thing, though, I will show you, though, that I do think is kind of nice. I don't know. Um, some people would be like, well, it could be useless. But I thought it was a cool touch, though, within the packaging. The one thing that kind of got me is I was kind of playing around with the packaging, and I don't think I really noticed this on maybe too many of them. Maybe I've just never been too observant. But you can pull out the little backing. It is not just stuck to the inside, um, which I thought was kind of cool. So you do kind of get a little backdrop right here. Uh, this could be something that people could use for photography, I suppose. Um, those that don't exactly want to go ahead and uh, create their own actual sets. Or if you just don't want to go into Photoshop and make your own unique little set. All that said, there really isn't a lot to exactly say about this figure. Other than the fact that, yeah, it has a nice sculpt and paint apps. It is a shame that NECA didn't include anything in there. I would have liked to see them include uh, a special accessory maybe from the video game. I would have liked to have seen them gone ahead and maybe included like a trading card. Something that would give us a little bit more incentive, you know, to go ahead and kind of get this figure. But this is it. It's just a lone figure. There will be more to come down the line. Uh, like I said, I do feel like the best is yet to come. And this is kind of a decent start for what it is. It's just that uh, this, this figure though, you know, this might be a turn off to certain people that don't want to spend that much money. So go ahead and give it a look. I'm going to put various links at the uh, the bottom in the description. Check them out. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and add a picture of the actual barcode just in case uh, you missed. This is going to become a regular thing in my reviews. Every review, I'm going to make sure to at least take a picture and put the barcode at the end along with certain information. So thank you for watching. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let, you know, let me know if this is something that you are going to get or if you're going to pass on, explain to me why, because I'm curious about everybody's opinion on this. So thanks again.